Hi everybody, what I'd like to do today is to demonstrate to you how you can manipulate your Excel data to show key summary information. The tool that I will use is called the pivot table and it's found in Excel. There are a number of versions of Excel, so what I've done is produce two videos, two demonstration videos, one focusing on the version of Excel which is 2000 and above, and the other on the versions below. The pivot table allows you to extract information from a long list of data and present it in an easy to read format. In this example you will see how I've um, summarized the sales data from Strategic Planet's financial database. As you can see there are over 16,000 lines of information so a lot of data to uh, review. There's the, the name of the sales rep, the customer number, the customer, the product, the quantity, the sales value, the cost of sales, the contribution, the percentage of profit, the month it was sold in and the year it was sold in. I now want to summarize the data and look at the sales by rep by year. The first thing I have to do is make sure I've got the headings. I now click on data and pivot table. You will see the wizard appear. You can see you're given a number of options. In this instance, we're going to use the Microsoft Excel list. Click on next and you are now asked for the data range. You can type it in yourself or use the highlighting tool. But there is a quick tip I'd just like to show you. I'm just gonna come out of what we've done if I now click anywhere within the table or the database and then go through that process again you will see that the range is automatically put in. You can adjust it yourself if you want to but in this instance I'm going to leave it as it is. Now click on next. There's a lot of information as we already highlighted so it's always best to use it in a different worksheet. You will now see the layout wizard. All you now have to do is drag and drop the required fields into the rows, columns or data fields. I'm going to take the rep field and put it in row. I'm going to take the year and put it in column. And then I'm going to take the sales value and put it in data. If you double click on the sales value, you can see that you can either have it as sum, count, average, etc. We're going to leave it as sum. Click OK now and then finish. You can see the data has now been summarized. You can now see that data has presented itself to three decimal places. I'm just going to tidy it up by highlighting the range, right clicking and choosing format, number, I'm going to put a comma for every thousand then make it to zero decimal places. I think that looks much better. What happens if I want to focus on the year 2010 only? I simply click on the drop down menu for year and highlight 2010 only. that summarizes the data. Alternatively, I could have used the pivot table filter system. I'll just do undo what I've done and drag and drop the year to the top box. What this does is puts the whole data as one. I can now filter it to just focus on 2010. If I click out the box, you can see the fields disappear. If I click in the box, the fields reappear. You could have also done this when you were in the um, pivot table wizard by dragging and dropping the data to the page field, as illustrated here. I want to now add months. I, I now want to look at it in, um, in terms of months. I simply drag and drop the month to the column field 
and hey presto, it appears. What about if I want to review the sales of products by salesperson for 2010? Again, I simply drag and drop the product data to the appropriate field. And if I want to just focus on one particular salesman, I use the drop down menu and highlight the salesperson or persons needed. And here we can see it summarizes it just for sales rep number three. Alternatively, I could have used the pivot table filter system as described earlier. So if I drag and drop rep to the top with 2010, it shows all the data and if I highlight sales rep 3 you can see it's just given me the required quantities clearly the pivot table is a very powerful tool but it is very simple to use